Hello everyone, welcome to my next video of CrackTech 6. Hopefully this time the centrifuge will work. But now I will prepare myself a bit more by crushing more of those ores so I have a bit more um, ores to crush uh, ores to wash of course then is there also a water problem so I hope that it will uh, rain so I have water to um, wash my ores I could always also try dry grass, of course. That would also work. I will see. I also need to show my amplified world. So I might do that first if there is not enough water. advantage of have having the sifter running very efficiently so I can process all the I could process all the lignite to dust and those lignite coals which are then convertible to coal coke and give lots of creosotes that does not belong there Yes, belongs here. I was starting between magnetite and this one, but this one is kind of icy too. Legacy, um, not that everything is removed here yet, but you can see the over. Uh, you can see that it is quite OP since this is actually quite hard to get when they are disabled. Unless you are. I already had 21. And yes, unless you are lucky to find a vein close to your spine spawn point, which in my case almost always happens. Except I'm on my amplifier world, or maybe I just don't see it because the elevation is higher there. I did sp uh, spawn close to a cassiterite uh, vein, which is also it's which also gives a tin metal. So I would say it's the same again. <sighs> um, okay, since water could actually be a problem, I fear. So I might have to take another approach. Let's store my hammers since I don't need them anymore. Hammers. I have, I do have steel rods. Do I have glue or something that can make glue? Yes, I do have that. Could also just dry seawater. That would also work. Um, I don't have, yes I do have glass bottles, but I want some more. Three, four, yes. Um, of course 
sea water takes a long time to uh, distill. Slime balls. There's my pockets. So I need water, but I think I need fresh water for that. Won't be easy, I think. So I think my case might be already filled with ocean water by now. The only water source I currently have is this one. This is actually usable. So I'm gonna use it. I just do the seawater in here using um, a pipe here and putting the barrel here using the auto output and I can just distill the seawater. If one thing does not work you have to try another thing. <coughs> Where's my glue? There is it. Um, damn, I need my buckets. Let's prepare already. So that it does work. And also this. Since the pipes are empty, that's seawater approach is perfectly possible. drink just a moment as quick 
quite uh, hot at the moment in here so lots of drinking is important to uh, kind of keep your health okay so here is funnel which is, which is hand breakable normally apparently it's not hand breakable very sad since I just lost three clay from it hmm that's not enough um, funnel tungsten plastic stainless steel oh well so I don't have clay steel as steel instead cylinder no bending cylinder damn I used it up I used it up one two three luckily I have a bunch of steel all thanks to that um, Fortress. So, file and hammer. So, like this. Can always remelt it back if I don't screw it up again. No, I still do not have my pickets. No, I won't make holes in here. No way. I could do that just for easiness, like I did before with the cauldron. But if something explodes, yeah, that would be very bad. Very bad. So. Really? I cannot pick up. Sea water. Sea water. Ah, okay. I need another bucket for that. A rechtstreeks bucket. It's not pickable, but with a vanilla bucket. It might be a big. Look here, my country flag Belgium actually it's a bit sideways and it's actually from here black yellow red I'm proud to be a Belgium even we are not perfect country but it's if you compare it to other countries it's um, a quite good very good place to live S especially with uh, healthcare this might work also Otherwise, I have to use that picket. Krecht a picket. Not that it's hard to make. 
yeah, that works. Oh, really? It does not refill. How is that possible? Now I can't pick it up anymore. What the hell? Oh. Now it does work. Very strange. Cells are fucked up, really. I don't really know what's going on here, but um, it's weird. Biome is beach, so it should spread, actually. this is uh, supposed to happen or not but yeah maybe it's a config option that I need to change because something changed in that oh boy yes another one uh, let's check how much I have Six liters. How much I need for that water? Um, this still that water. No, sea water is better to do. Um, so, right mouse button dryer. Eight units to seven units. Okay. Um, 60 40 seconds that is long really long turn just try to fill it up This just looks bad, you know. Maybe that works. Really fucked up. Really fucked up. You know. cells they are very bad I'm just gonna shred them and forget about those really don't know why but they are seriously fucked up seriously what's this got a nice steel okay I forgot what I made myself uh, this one bronze, the buckets, preferably, do I have wood, yes, oh, forgot about that, um, something like this. Okay. Let's hope this works better. Should work better. I never had any problems with wooden buckets ever. Even with other mods installed.
can place it back of course and let's check how much I have Little show for more because I do spread. Apparently, the cell did broke it. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Very well. And now let's get the, this back at the right approach. Hey, don't lose it again. Phone will be very useful also since it can handle assets. And yeah, assets can be quite dangerous with metals. So yeah, if you have a metal that resists acid. That's very good. And now I still need a monk wrench, I think. Yes. Because a normal wrench does not have uh, the automatic function. Uh, monkey wrench, monkey wrench, monkey wrench. Uh, here it is. I don't need at the moment. Will fill adjacent tanks. Woohoo! Seawater is filling up. Yes. So everything is empty, so I can remove it again. This will take a long time, a very long time, but it does give me a nice amount of water and some salt, which might be useful later on. So what I have to do now, I might show my amplified world just gonna try something out. If I log out and go back with my progress, um, will my world still progress or not? I don't have a chunk loader, however. So I will have to check out this. It's now about here. And if I discon should disconnect. That's just right. Um, in the meantime, I will show the amplified world. How it looks like a bit. How many tetra heights there is. So this is my tetra mine. As you can see very high elevations. And tetra needs high elevations. I also placed my uh, installation here, my uh, sluice, which was, which was not quite hard to build. It just took a lot of time to smelt all those coppers. Oh, I got three of them. Okay, maybe I need to place them down, but only after this base is finished. Maybe I can place them somewhere in the world. Am I through that? Yes. Um, oh, that's not good. That's not good. I don't 
the place is not yet very lighted up so shit like this could happen can happen as you can see this vein is very very large I already mined a whole bit out and the mountain close to my base is also mined out but I will show that later first I will check this if it's actually if the progress if there is side progress further it actually did so apparently the world seems to go on when I log out as you can see it was here and now it's here already but this could also possess some danger if you leave your server on with a boiler running and it runs out of water for example um, or something else happens like too much heat or something then little problems could occur so I would advise to put out all your burning boxes before you um, exit your server unless you have some safety me me mechanisms which uh, prevents um, such issues like a boiler that explodes and makes some holes like what happened here luckily no seawater invaded my base then I was very lucky very very lucky otherwise I had a little problem because from here on everything would be drawn in seawater and it would be practically unusable unless I fill it everything back up with sand and yeah that would be out of work very much a lot of work so it's all um, should be almost done let's check this out already Huh? Zero water, nine coal, that's a bit too less. Let's use this since I have plenty of that in stock. I think, I do think I may need a hopper system for here since this burns very quickly through fuel. so that I won't have to watch it every time and also has yes, an alarm system very important so it's almost done as you can see it takes a long very long time like t t t t t 10 minutes almost 11 minutes to finish so yeah that's long Mm, veggie sandwich cucumber, tomato and onion very nice I just need to breed them of course so I will need to do some crop breeding and now yes oh yeah it's fill it up let's start this up oh yeah So now I have to wait till this goes up. It's already going up. Let's see how fast this burns. Not that's quite fast. It only burns to two, three cold cokes already. So I will know if this. Um, will work until it runs out and I can also easily see it it's already here so the question is will it 
will something bad happen or not? Or will just nothing happen? That's the big question. Will everything explode? Because overload or will my lovely sluice juice will be or will the lovely sluice juice be processed centrifuged to all these much more lovely metals zinc chromium tin uh, stone dust not that useful not okay iron dust copper dust However, this could be useful for stone blocks to fill up my ocean, for example, or to make stone blocks to crash them to gravel and to make sand from it. Since the gravel, we get sand, get clay, get flint, which is not that useful, but I did find a method to make it useful. Oh yes, it works! All my lovely metals are produced. Stone dust already. Oh yeah! Now I am just recycling my water and no explosion happened. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm almost crying of happiness. So happy, so happy without explosion so this works perfectly just preparation for it of course huh? oh yeah so this will help huh? me to acquire my chromium eventually And with that chromium, I can make better burning boxes. Eventually, but also a lot of stone dust. Lots of stone dust. But most important, I can recycle my water. That's it's actually the most important since. Uh, oh, really? Oops. No pipe connection. Now that's not very good. Let's do this for the moment. Of course I don't have my wrench with me. Still nothing else than stone dust, but of course it does not consume a lot of it. It's also quite slow. But with some patience everything will be fine. Of course I still need water. But no, my water won't be drained as fast, and I get some useful byproducts from it. So, water should flow into here again, into the tanks, to the barrel. And something else already, only stone dust. I'm not lucky at that point, but at least nothing did explode. Uh, sand, please don't waste any sluice juice. Uh, only, only, uh, don't waste any creosote, I mean. Sluice juice cannot be burned. That could be possible, yeah. That would be nice, but no. And what I can do with this pile of salts? I can electrolyze it eventually. If I have 32 GU, then I get chlorine and sodium. 
I could make hydrochloric acid if I have sulfur dioxide, but that's not really useful. Distilled water to salt water, which is easier to easier to process actually. Yes, that might be better. And the sodium chloride I can still electrolyze, I think. Sodium hydroxide, I mean, should be electrolyzable also, but at higher energy costs, yes. also sodium sulfide dust where this gives water again very nice or with hydrochloric acid to give salt water but this is obviously better so I do have a way to make water of course the only way to get sodium hydroxide is Sea water and salt water. Oh, chromium! Something at last. Of course, per action it's only 100 liters, so it's not that. Uh, it's not that inefficient. of dark ash. I will just let it run out and after it's run out I will go back to the amplified world maybe or maybe not. I did show it a bit. Most important is actually show. I haven't done that much on that world of course my base between brackets um, it's not finished um, I do have a crucible setup also but that's just for a base uh, two crucibles one for stone and lead and one for uh, bronze and I also did not yet melt iron since I have just a bunch of bronze I do not even need to melt iron the main problem however is state for sluice juice since I need to make cheap ones since I don't have steel yet but that will be solved after I build my uh, centrifuge the carbon dust will be flowing in and <coughs> steel will be produced very easily can be produced very easily directly I can di directly skip the iron step if I want to okay everything is done I did produce one chromium. That's something already. So I think I will leave it by here. Um, and the next time I will show the rest of my amplified world. Maybe the next time will be uh, about my amplified world. Which I call easy start. Because so much bronze so much copper that's just way more easier to start off mostly copper is just a pain so that's easy for starters if you have a beefy computer your PC can handle am amplified just go for it if you are new to Grechtech I would highly recommend it Unless you want a challenge, of course. Then, yeah. 
to try the normal world of the um, some world modification mods which I use on the chemistry factory uh, forgot the name might check it real quick um, that name is realistic terrain generation there it's apparently harder to find ores especially copper because of some elevation rules so that's actually the more challenging part that's the hard version so to speak but okay enough for today now I have to sleep because I have to wake up quite early I have the morning shift so I see you guys later bye bye